No, we've already trimmed off the edges here on the galley. I mixed up my uh, two-part epoxy. I've already started the required two minutes. Is, and I'm not going to work out of this pot, which would be really nice and inconvenient and awesome. But the thing is, is that this stuff is, um, you know, it's, it's, it cures faster the hotter it is. So if you keep it in here, this is going to cure extremely fast. So I'll pour it in here and and spread it out over a larger surface area and that way it uh, I have a little bit more time pretty much all I want to do here is I'm not trying to get like a finished coat on it I just want to make sure that it's sealed so that when there's a inclement weather that you just forget to leave the hatch open that um, I'm not going to soak in soak into the wood we don't want any, any of that happening and plus with this epoxy I can kind of double up along the gap along here like that if there's any extra space uh, and uh, this epoxy will seal this I mean we'll glue it together like crazy as much as you're tempted, don't do this outside of edge yet. You'll have it all over your clothes. And if you can, try to keep your epoxy moving around. I'm sure there's professionals on YouTube that are really good at this. So, yeah, if you got some uh, information for me to help me be better at this, Let's hear it, please. I will not be offended. I uh, found out about this two-part epoxy system from House of Fire 72. That guy seems to know a lot of stuff. And I thought, well, why don't we try it? I have been pleased so far with this stuff. Thanks, House of Fire 72. Thank you, dude. the backyard so that a little bit of I can get a little bit of sunshine By the way, the amount of epoxy I'm working with here is five pumps of resin, five pumps of hardener. And hopefully I can get it all on before it starts hardening up on me. That's going to be a good seal. And it makes it look nice too. So I am going to be finished on these edges here. I'm going to go ahead and throw my epoxy on there.
thought I had gotten, I thought I had got all the blue tape off here, but I had that done. I was going to do this with a roller, and I thought, well, let's see how far I can get with a brush. In pot time, work life of this stuff, or pot time, whatever it's called, it's pretty decent. And like I say, the hotter it is outside, the faster it's pure. Kind of keep your stuff spread out like that. pretty good too. Just do it whichever way works for you. This way or that way. Kind of lose too much epoxy into the grass. I know I should have gloves on, but I forgot to put them on. Should be good on a respirator because we're out here in Mother Nature. In the fresh air with the breath. I'm probably going to have a leaf fall right in the middle of this, but it is a thing specifically for nature, so I wouldn't be upset about that. Imagine the next video of this tech, this little uh, part of the project will be done. They're already licking the bottom of the pan. Five pumps up there, so I guess I need the other. Oh, wow, that's say six. Five, yeah. six pumps. <coughs> Alright, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Again, thank you for watching. I'm going to shut the camera off and go get me five more pumps, well, six more pumps of resin and hardener finish up the inside of this and the next video will be something else so hey hang in there